Hello and welcome to Rain Francis Art. My name is Rain. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of art therapy. We're going to talk a little bit. We're going to paint a little bit. <laughs> and we're going to paint this coffee cup with kind of a foamy, delicious, cocoa topped, cappuccino like beverage. I hope you join along. This is what I'll be using for today's watercolor painting. Well, firstly, I have Strathmore watercolor paper. It's nine by 12 inches and it's 140 pounds. I have it landscape style. And for paints, I'm using my favorite pan paints. The brand I think is called Pretty Excellent. <laughs> I got it off Amazon and I really don't know much about it. I don't even have, um, the the color code what colors are in each pan but i did do a swatch so i know what they look like and i'm probably going to be using mostly the browns today for our coffee and maybe a little bit of white and i i don't normally use a brown palette so this is going to be interesting for me i'm just kind of winging it i have some water and paper towels and for brushes i have some round watercolor brushes I have a number two, a number four, a number four liner brush, and I have this large round one. I don't know what size it is because it's worn off over the years, but I'm guessing number eight to ten. But I will definitely put a link in the description below, not a link, I'll put a, a list in the description below of what I end up using. I have a watercolor pencil here just that I'm going to use for outlining. I think this is the brown color. And I have some masking tape that I used for two things. First, I just taped down my page so it doesn't move. And I'm gonna use this as kind of a stencil for my coffee cup. So I think that's all I've got here. I will begin. I'm gonna put my coffee cup right in the middle here. And I'm going to make a circle in the middle of the masking tape and on the outside of the masking tape. That's going to be my coffee cup. I think that's good enough. Now I can put the masking tape and this away. I'm sure you could probably just use a coloring pencil to do this too. Oh, I also have a little hair dryer at the ready just in case I want to dry things fast to keep going. So I'm kind of winging this. I saw a picture of a coffee cup with bubbles in it and a little bit of foam. I saw this on the internet. <laughs> so I'm going to try to recreate it by using uh, watercolors. And I apologize in advance if I'm not able to give you the ex exact names of the paints. But I will be using kind of a light brown for foam and ranging in all of the colors, all of the shades of brown to a dark brown for the actual coffee, okay? And I'll try to let you know each time I do that. And I'm gonna leave the coffee cup white, I think. I think I'm gonna leave that white. I have it outlined with the watercolor pencil, so I might soften that up after. One thing that I forgot to do with the watercolor pencil is I forgot to put this, the, um, uh, Geez, I'm drawing a blank now. The stem, the holder, the handle of the cup. There, because you know, we've got an aerial view here. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna take that same watercolor pencil and I'm gonna add a little bit of brown around the, out, the outside edge, but on the inside of the cup. Just to make that line a little thicker. I had to stop the uh, video there because I had a crazy coughing fit. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Sometimes when I'm doing these videos, um, I forget to sip on water and my throat gets really dry. And I end up coughing and hacking and <laughs> nobody wants to hear that on a video. All right, so my throat's a little raw right now. And I'm going to do the same thing with the, um, the handle. Excuse me. All right, let's get right into this. I'm going to use 
my number four round brush and I'm just dipping it into water. I'm doing a little wet on wet here. So I'm going to put wet all around the inside of the coffee mug. I said I'm going to put wet. How about I say I'm going to put water because that's what it is. <laughs> and I like doing wet on wet because I can kind of shape what I want. And then when I add the color, it just follows the water. So I've got that all over the inside, <coughs> excuse me, of the, uh, the coffee cup. And I'm going to take the lightest brown that I have. It's this one here. You can see kind of, that's why I encourage you to do swatches because then you can see what they look like. And I don't ever suggest that you do this. Put your paints over your canvas. I'm just doing it so that you can see what I'm doing here. And you see what I mean when you have wet on wet? The paint follows the water. And if you're, if you're careful, it should not go outside of where you had water. I'm just going to add a little bit more water here because my page is drying up a little bit. And I'm going to add a little more paint there. It's going to be kind of a cappuccino looking thing maybe. Okay, I'm just cleaning off my brush. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Wow. Glad I didn't get that coughing fit on tape. <laughs> on tape. That shows my age. Okay, I'm taking my number two brush and I'm just gonna, I wet it and I'm just gonna soften up the edges of my coffee cup and maybe bring a little bit of that brown in. And I'm doing that, just taking my time doing that Well the inside of the coffee cup is drying. <clears throat> I want to keep that outer edge pretty sharp, but I'm trying to soften the inner edge and bring some of that brown into the rim of the coffee cup. Just so it's not a stark white. Oh, I got some in there. Now what you can do if you do that is take a dry brush and just wipe it off. Wipe your brush onto a paper towel or a cloth and pull it all off, okay? No big deal. It's going to bleed a little bit in there, but I don't mind. <clears throat> this is a watercolor. We're here to have fun. We're here to relax. A little bit of watercolor therapy today. I don't know about you guys, but it's been an unbelievable whirlwind of stress and activity for me since August and I am in November as I tape this, as I record it. We are, I think it's third week, second week of November. I'm so out of it. So many things happened. I, I bought my house in 2020, my first house so happy and proud of myself. <laughs> Bought a fixer-upper just before COVID started and I moved to, I live in Canada, I moved to a different province so when I was ready to move, when, when everything was closed, it was unbelievably stressful. I didn't even know if I would be able to enter the province but it was a fixer-upper because that's all I could afford and um, going to move some of this paint out here 
and I knew it would need repair, but I didn't think it would happen all at the same time. <laughs> so since August, there, there have been a lot of major, major repairs here, and financially speaking, it's extremely stressful because, you know, I'm not a rich person. I'm, I'm on a disability pension, and oh, that's my dog who just shook. <laughs> Raven the Rottweiler. When she shakes, oh boy. <laughs> anyway, I'll talk about that in a minute. This is all dry here. The coffee itself is all dry. So I'm going to just start adding some layers of color. I'm going to go back to my number four round brush and I'm going to wet it. Maybe add a little bit of white. I'm going to clean up my pan first because a little bit of green fell into that white, so I'm going to get rid of that green before I put that on my coffee. All right, so it's all cleaned up. Getting that white all loaded up on my brush. Okay, and I'm kind of doing a little bit of a shape here. I'm going to make a little bit of foam on this side and coffee is going to be on this side. So I want to add some white to this. It's a transparent white so you'll still be able to see that light kind of brown coffee foam color underneath the white. But I'm just trying to add some layers here. Like I said, don't put your paints over your canvas. Do what Rain says, not what she does. <laughs> How many times have we heard that? And you know, when you use watercolors, you can definitely add layers as long as your paint is dry. That's why I have the, um, the hair dryer handy because I, I see myself using a lot of layers. Now, while this side is drying, I'm going to work on this side. I have a little bit of water here. I'm just going to blot that up. Okay. So this side of the coffee is coffee. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take one of my dark browns, probably this one here. And if I have to, I'll use more layers. But I'm going to load up my brush with that dark brown. And I'm going to put in dark brown. Oh yeah, that's a nice dark coffee brown. I'm going to be careful because I don't want to get that outside of the rim. And I may have to add several layers because I want my coffee to be nice and dark brown. I'm going to add a little water. And just carefully, carefully go around there, go around the rim. And I'm just going to fill that in. That looks delicious already, doesn't it? It kind of looks like a yin-yang thing. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to fix that a little bit once it's dry because I want it to be a little more fluid, maybe a little more round here. Let's see if I can do this. Yeah, I think that's a little better and maybe a little more round here. I am making this up as I go along, my friends. Like I said, I just saw a picture of a coffee mug on the internet and I decided I wanted to paint it. Okay, I'm going to actually dry that with my hair dryer.
So that's all dry. What I'm going to do is work on the foamy area. I want to have lots of layers of color there, a lot of different browns. So I've still got my number four round brush and I'm going to go and put in, let's see, I'm going to go for a lighter brown, maybe this one here. So that's one, two, three, four, five from the end. One, two, three, four. It's this one here. I want to say that looks like a coffee brown, but they all kind of look like a coffee brown. <laughs> so I'm just going to go around. Maybe that looks like a sienna. And I'm going to put that in different areas here. Of the coffee. Just adding a little more water. Okay, I'm just wiping my brush off, adding just a little water and softening up the edges. Now while that's drawing, I'm going to go back to that dark brown, I think it was this one, and I'm going to add more to the actual coffee side of it, make it a little darker. I love my pan paints. Okay, so as I was saying before, I was blessed this year. I admit, and I have nothing to be ashamed of, I have, I'm in a low income housing situation. I have a disability income from a work accident that happened many years ago. And I qualified, oh, I'm so blessed. I qualified for three different programs this year. I got a new roof, a new tin roof. My basement was insulated with foam insulation. And I just got a new heating system put in by the power company. And this was all for free. It was part of a program to help people with low income to have a more energy efficient home. And like I said, blessed, more blessed I could not be. I'm just softening up the edges here of the brown. So I'm happy about that. But in order to prepare for all of these things to happen, I had to get plumbing done. I had to get two walls fixed in the, in the midst of them fixing the walls. They discovered that one of my walls was falling apart and the foundation was completely rotted away. So I had to find a way to pay for a new wall, a new foundation area to be fixed. And it was so stressful, <laughs> so stressful to be continued. <laughs> so I'm going to let this dry, let this dry. I'm going to use my hair dryer to dry this so I can continue. Well, this side of the coffee cup is dry, so I'm going to work on this while this one's still a little bit of wet, a little bit wet. I'm going to go in and I'm going to take my white. And I'm really, really going to try to use minimal water because this is a transparent white and I want some of it to show. Because, you know, when you have a nice coffee, there's white foam on it sometimes. So I'm loading up my number four round brush. That's the brush I'm pretty much going to be using. And I'm just going to add a little bit of foam here and there. Tiniest amount of water just to get some of that paint on the brush.
And I'm going to put a little bit on the edges here too. Just a little bit. There we go. All right, now what shall we choose? <laughs> I'm just randomly taking some browns and I'm going to plop them in here and there. just to add some layers of brown. So as I was saying, in order to take advantage of these wonderful, wonderful programs, I had to prepare my house and I wasn't prepared to prepare my house at this time of my life. <laughs> so I had to somehow find money to take care of plumbing, building a new wall, fixing the foundation, there was something else that I can't even remember now. So it was it was tough going, but I had to do it. You know, you have to do it when you're when you're being given a gift of a new roof and a new heating system and a spray foamed basement. Oh my gosh, you have to find a way to get that done. So I ended up having to buy a, a new door and a new window for my basement and let's just say I'm, I'm kind of tapped out, you know, tapped out financially, but I'm happy. I am so happy. Very blessed. But with those blessings came a lot of stress. So I'm, the heating system was just put in um, two days ago. So I'm happy to say that all of this is behind me now, except for <laughs> now it seems I have septic system issues, but I'm not even going to go there. I don't even want to think about it. I'm just going to enjoy painting my coffee cup. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to let the coffee itself dry, and I kind of want to do something about the coffee cup. I might use... I've got my watercolor pencils here. They're just, you know, nothing fancy. It's uh, something I got off Amazon really cheap. It wasn't that expensive. I'm going to grab that brown watercolor pencil again. And I'm going to go in while this is drying. I'm going to go in and just add a little bit more brown to the edges. And then what I'll do is I'll soften all of that up again with some water. I think it needs a little something. This is just a spontaneous kind of video that I decided to make today. I was thinking of, I do have a blog, rainfrancis.com. I'll put all the links in the description of the video below. Um, I do host a, a weekly art date. I've mentioned that many times. And uh, the theme for next week, or this week, I should say, is cups. So I was thinking of cups, but then I saw this coffee and I'm like, oh, I'd like to paint that. And I didn't even, it didn't even occur to me that it would fit in well with my, my um, Thursday art and dinner date. <laughs> It's a dinner date, too, because on the blog we share foodie stuff, so feel free to join in. Now I'm just going to take my number two brush, dip that in water, and soften up all of that brown that I just put in. So, you know, what I was saying before, before you know, this is our art therapy day blessings, right? Blessings come along sometimes. And sometimes we're not prepared for them, which sounds kind of funny because, you know, you have to be open to miracles happening in your life. And if you ask for something, you know, whether you believe in God or the universe or spirit or the divine universe and mother nature, whatever, whatever your spirituality is. 
and you pray and you ask for help and you ask for something in your life, all I'm saying is be prepared for it. <laughs> because when I moved here, I knew how much work had to be done to fix up my house. I was very much aware of it. Just so you know off camera, I'm just dipping my brush into my water. I knew how much work was involved, but I really thought that it would be, I used to say it would be my um, lifetime project to upgrade my house and take care of my house. And I really thought I would be like, okay, this is going to take me 10 or 20 years, but it's going to be my lifetime project. It's going to be fun to take care of my house and, you know, I'll make it livable and functional, but all the pretty stuff can come after, you know? And uh, I did ask for help from the divine <laughs> and I got it. Whoa, did I get it? And I wasn't ready for it. But I somehow managed to find a way to be ready for it. So if you ask for a miracle, just be prepared for that miracle to happen. <laughs> because it could come pretty fast before you're ready for it. Okay, I'm going to just use my hairdryer to dry up the inside now. Well, my coffee is all dry, and I noticed that there was a little bit of a glare over here, so I moved my lights over, and I hope the problem with moving the lights is now there's going to be shadows, but I think shadows are better than glare, so I hope so for you guys anyway. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my dark brown again, the third one here, this one here, and I'm gonna add little droplets of coffee. Just little droplets on this side, you know? Little round bits of coffee here. Just randomly everywhere. And I want some of them to be big, big round drops. Maybe little ones too. Just fixing my, my little droplets here. I'm going to see if I can make tiny, tiny little droplets with my liner brush. I love this liner brush. It just, it, it makes such a fine line. It's almost as though you're using a really fine tip marker. So I'm wetting it and I'm using some of that really dark brown. And I'm going to try to make little open, oh, open, geez, what am I talking about? Open droplets. <laughs> open, open. There, yeah, that works. This is a, what is it, a number four liner brush. I very much recommend you get a good liner brush. Look at how small the strokes can get. I love it. Just making little droplets here. I love the colors, how they're blending. Isn't that gorgeous? And it really does look like coffee. And you see, I haven't even had to put more paint on my brush. I'm making some of them tiny, some of them very light. I think that's good for now. I have to let this dry because I'm going to put some highlights on it. I used my hair dryer to dry everything up and I've got my liner brush again. I'm going to dip that into water and I'm going to fill up my 
liner brush with white but I don't want too much water because I want that white to really show up I don't want it to be too transparent what I'm doing is I'm going to add some white to all of the coffee water droplets or coffee droplets that I put in and hopefully the white will make it look a little bit more realistic just a little bit of water, white on each one I think that's looking good. All right. Now I'm just taking a quick look and seeing if there's anything else that I want to do. I think I might add a little bit more white, but I do have to wait for those little droplets to dry. So I'm going to use my hair dryer and dry those. I'm taking my number two round brush. I'm gonna get that wet and put it in the white. This time I don't mind if there's a lot of water because I want it to be more transparent. And I'm gonna go through certain areas here and just put some transparent white around. I'm not trying to erase, which I just did, some of my coffee droplets. I'll have to put those in again. But I do want to have a little bit more what looks like foam on the coffee. And I'm rinsing my brush every time just in case I pick up a little bit of brown. I don't necessarily want to have brown in my white paint. You see it's kind of transparent there. Very transparent. How about a little bit over here? Maybe in between. I think that's good. I think that's pretty good. I'm going to take my number four liner brush again and I'm going to go into that dark brown because I want to put a little bit more detail in this area here, maybe more droplets, just a few more black, not black, dark brown droplets. And I want them to be random. Got a little bit of white there on my brush, so I'm just going back. Not too much water because I don't want it to be too transparent. But I'm just going to put in little random droplets everywhere. Some big, some small. All right, and a few more. I erased some of those. Uh, open droplets. So I'm just adding a few more of those. Here. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. I think that looks a lot like a little maybe cappuccino. <laughs> with some cocoa sprinkled on top of it and a nice warm coffee cup. This was really, really nice today, my friends. It was very relaxing. You know, I think about all of the blessings that I've had in my life over the last year and over the last two and a half years especially, and maybe all of the stress that came with some of those blessings. You don't think of having blessings that cause you stress, but I guess they do sometimes when you're not prepared. But I got to tell you, the, the feelings of gratitude overweigh the stress like beyond what I can even describe. So just 
talking and painting today. <laughs> if you want to talk about anything, let me know in the comments. I, I do value everybody's opinion and everybody's words and all of your feelings. And I hope that you tried doing this little quick coffee experiment with me today and the little art therapy that we had. I hope that it was relaxing for you. If you did, please like and subscribe. It means the world to me. I love reading your comments too. I say it again. Please leave me a comment. I do read them and I do reply to them. So we'll see you next time on Rain Francis Art. Take care everybody. Bye.